the we're mill. sitting in the study in his study at his at his home in um, in Rockville, Maryland, and he has this picture of they're at Reykjavik, and Reagan is sitting in like a a, a chair with his glasses on the bridge of his nose with like papers and Poindexter is clearly talking to him. And I'm like, did the enormity of that moment, you're sitting there like Gorbachev is in the next room. You, 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 they kind of had a break, like, all right, we need to go and sort yeah. of, and you, and you know, that picture was kind of the moment where they decided like, it is not, mm -hmm. um, and I, I also, instead of, you know, rhetoric and strong language and, and, you know, uh, you know, summits like we built SDI, SDI strategic defense initiative, star Wars. Oh, um, we over powered them with innovation. So when Reagan and Gorbachev met in Reykjavik and Gorbachev's demand or terms for nuclear disarmament included the Americans, Reagan divesting from SDI and Reagan said, not happening. It was kind of like, okay, we're never going to be able to compete with them militarily, which sort of speaks to the strength through power. Yes. Narrative. But it was innovation that, you know, is like was legit and real and kind of a, hey, you know, build nukes all you want. We have SDI, which negates your arsenal. Right. And that was like, all right, how do we compete with this? We need to, that was the beginning of sort of the ratchet down for the, for the mm -hmm. Soviet Union. Um, you know, and we didn't negotiate, like Reagan had a, a fine line, like that is non-negotiable. Yeah. And we are willing to walk. No, I was he he was listen on that on that issue. He, I mean, definitely a successful presidency in that respect. Yep. He was very very good on that issue. So I uh, I worked with Admiral John Poindexter for a little yes. bit back in ninety six ninety seven, and I'm in his. We're sitting in his study. You worked with him in ninety six or ninety seven. It was ninety six. What yeah. were you doing? It was this was the a DARPA program. Um. Just, just taught way. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just, you know, I was, I was in the hallways at DARPA. Yeah, you know, but we're we're do? sitting in the study in his study at his at his home in um, in Rockville, Maryland, and he has this picture of they're at Reykjavik, and Reagan is sitting in like a a, a chair with his glasses on the bridge of his nose with like papers, and Poindexter is clearly talking to him. And I'm like, did the enormity of that moment, you're sitting there like Gorbachev is in the next room. You, 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 they kind of had a break, like, all right, we need to go and sort yeah. of, and you, and you know, that picture was kind of the moment where they decided like, it is not negotiable. SDI is not negotiable. And, and Poindexter had a lot to do with that, um, as his national security advisor, pre Iran Contra. Um, I'm like, did that, did the enormity of. Like you're sitting there and Ronald Reagan is kind of looking at you like, are you full of shit? Do you know what you're talking about? And you are, as his national security advisor, giving him this advice about your negotiation with the Soviets. Like that was a moment of, you know, clarity right. that you were able to, you were able to push through, but um, really interesting guy. So why were you in the hallways at DARPA in 96? You just, you know. Um, I mean, I'm I'm not there a lot, but uh, I'm there enough. Yeah, but this is '96. This is. I'm sorry, 2006, not '96. 2006. But that's still 10 years before you have the little post. Uh, per, you know, shortly after 9/11. Uh, right, but this is like 10 years before you figure out the whole Fort Bragg data thing. So what? what doing we, doing data stuff. Doing data yep. stuff. So, so you were a good candidate to figure out the Fort Bragg. I, I mean, I'm, I might have had a head start. Right. You know, All right. Yeah. I might, might have, have wanted to mention that out front. You um, know? There was um, this this move to like um, 
can we correlate travel records, rental car records, things like that to be able to predict terrorist or unusual activity. Okay. DARPA was working on this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. Everybody. At that time, everybody was yeah, working every, on it. Yeah, in some way. It's just yep. DARPA, you always think of, you know, the wonder projects, like something that's fucking- Hypersonics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. you don't really- think of them they're a separate bucket from like what you think about with cia or nsa or something like that all right I'm, I'm gonna when when you come back we're gonna have to do darpa we're gonna go way deeper on china we're gonna have to do a lot of palantir we're gonna have to do a lot of ai stuff which we didn't talk about today i could think of like some saudi stuff i want to get to with you there's other stuff we got to come back to and ask a few more questions too but in the meantime real quick what is your, you know, this last decade now, like today, I imagine through your private company, you're still doing some of this work and advising on it. Obviously, you've kind of mentioned that. But like, what does your family think about like what you got going on? Like you're the big swinging dick and not DC at all with data. <laughs> not at all. Not in your house. No, that's a shame. Not at all. No. I mean, it's you're in, it's decent. Like everybody's got everybody's got a, a hustle. Everybody's important and doing stuff. So, okay. You know, I'll take your word for it. All right. Well, Mike, this has uh, been quite eye opening yep. today. We're surprised we didn't get into Epstein. That's yeah, weird. that's what I'm saying. There's like a million things to get to. I, I'm, I'm going to get there. So, here's what we're going to do I'm going to be putting this out in, I think we're going to put this out in like a week or two. I'm going to put this one out quick. And then people are going to respond to this and I'm going to get your ass back here very quickly. Sounds good. All right. I'll be here. All right. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Everybody else, you know what it is. Give it a thought. Get back to me. Peace. Thank you guys for checking out this clip. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It is a huge, huge help. And if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode, that link is in the description below or right here. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram and X by using the links in my description below.